Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Smart. Today we are going to design an underground water tank. In the last video we have designed the water tank resting on the ground and in this video we are going to design the underground water tank with have a condition that the tank is empty from the inside and the surrounding soil is saturated, right? So the only the pressure of the soil from the outside is be there and the condition L by B is less than 2. We have to design a water tank having the length, width and depth of the water is been given and uh, having the use M20, M30 and the FE415 steel. So first we, we have to put your, uh, our data in these cells only, in these pink cells only. Uh, first we have to find the design constant, right? It will calculate the design constant according to the Sigma CBC, the permissible stress according to this table, table 2. Uh, there will be a continuous frame action as we design in rectangular water tank resting on the ground the same action will be there the continuous frame action will be there we need to find the fix and movements it will calculate the fix and movement distribution factor will be calculated and the movement distribution will be calculated so movement calculation at the ends and at the supports for the long wall and the short wall then we will find the thickness of the wall what will be the thickness of the, this rectangular wall for designing then we will design the design of the long wall first at the support of the long wall we, we will find according to the movement we will find the reinforcement and we will find the reinforcement at the center then the distribution steel will be calculated design of the short wall will be calculated at the support as well as at the center the cantilever action for the bottom portion will be there and then the base slab will be designed right so this is the plan all the reinforcement will be shown here and this section for this the long wall and this short wall will be there so let's start so we need to put our data the uh, according to this condition then the length of the water tank is given is 6 meter the width of the water tank is given as 4 meter right so depth of the water depth depth of the water is been given is 3.35 meter right free board we will take according to our requirement few board is 0.15 meter gamma saturated uh, in this case the soil pressure will be there and the uh, soil is saturated right gamma saturated is 18 8 gamma w is 10 phi angle of inter friction is 30 degree it has been given right fck uh, we have to use m30 m30 and f phi is fe415 right so total height of the tank has been calculated as 3.5 meter l by b ratio is 1.5 and that is l by b is less than 2 so the condition will be applicable that top portion that is h minus h will be designed as the continuous frame right and the bottom portion that is h h by 4 uh, comes out to be this much 0.875 or 1 meter whichever is greater so it will be taken as the 1 meter bottom portion will be designed as a cantilever right so design constant according to the m30 we need to design our water tank so design con constant will be taken from this table 2 for m30 that that is 10 you need to put your data as 10 as here so all the values the permissible stress in steel 130 model ratio will be calculated from this formula sigma cbc 9.33 k will be calculated j will be calculated and finally the q that is half sigma cbc k j that is 1.80 it will be used to find the thickness of the wall right so continuous frame action will be there and uh, the same as it is uh, we have done the uh, we need to find the active work pressure the formula is 1 minus sin phi upon 1 plus sin phi has been calculated as 0.33 gamma saturated has been calculated gamma saturated minus gamma w that is gamma dash 8 kilonewton per meter cube water pressure at depth depth h minus h that is 2.5 meter right so water pressure at this depth has already been calculated by this formula ka gamma dash h minus h gamma w this has already been calculated and water pressure at depth capital h that is 3.5 meter has been calculated right so fix and movement has been calculated the movement at a, a due to b in anti-clockwise direction that's why it is negative 95 movement has been calculated and fixed movement at a due to d 42.22 kilonewton meter distribution factor there is 6 meter this is 4 meter distribution factor joint 
a member a b and a d k is calculated sigma summation of k distribution factor has been calculated according to this moment distribution final moments has been calculated right due to this distribution factor fixed moments this fixed moments has been taken over here the balance right you have to multiply of the, the difference of this and then the positive will be calculated as 73.89 right so bending moment at the support is calculated 73.89 bending moment at the support at the center of the long span ab that is pl square by 8 at the mid span minus ma ma is the moment at the support so bending moment at the center of long span is calculated at the short span is calculated direct compression in the long wall compression in the long wall that compression in the long wall is due to the pressure in the short wall right so this formula has been there p into b by 2 b by 2 for the long wall calculated direct compression in the short wall is due to the long wall has been calculated so finally the thickness of the wall you have to take the maximum it has been taken the maximum movement from these three right so 73.89 is the maximum movement b is 1000 mm for design purpose d required is been calculated from this formula m equal to qbd square q has been taken from above right 1.80 so uh, we will take a d as 250 mm effective cover we will take 50 mm so finally overall depth overall thickness of the wall is comes out to be 300 right so first we design the design of the long wall at the support of the long wall right at the support of the long wall a and b support at tension on the remote force at the support so bending moment at support is 73 c compression in the long wall 63 x is half of the wall minus effective cover this distance uh, so net movement will be m minus c into x so finally ast is been calculated 2415 we will take if we will take 20 mm dia 20 mm dia 130 mm centimeter on the liquid phase at the corner of the long wall right so minimum ast is for the balance is 720 mm so if we choose 10 mm so 10 mm 210 mm at the remote phase at the corner for the long wall minimum ast required right design of the long wall at the center of the long wall tension on the liquid phase if the wall the pressure from the outside then it will be bent like this so tension will always be in the liquid phase that is the inner phase so bending moment at center 68 right this has been taken from here so c is there if we will choose 20 mm again so 20 mm 140 mm at the liquid phase at the center for the long wall right so minimum ast is 10 mm right so distribution steel is 0.424 percent of the cross section area if d is 500 less than 500 then uh, it will be divided equally on the both faces right so if we will take 10 mm so 10 mm 200 mm at each face on the long wall in the vertical direction that is distribution steel same for the design of the short wall bending moment will be taken if we choose 20 mm dia right so 20 mm 110 mm liquid phase at the corner of the short wall right it will be there and for minimum ast is 10 mm 100 mm for the at the center of the short wall if you take 16 mm dia 16 mm 300 mm on the liquid phase right minimum is 10 mm on the remote phase then next is the cantilever action for the bottom pressure is being calculated 44 assume bar dia the AST has been calculated 264 but AST minimum is 360 on each phase if 10 mm will, will be there then 10 mm 210 mm center to center on both phases base slab as slab is all directly resting on the ground right and the nominal design can be done for the base slab if you choose 200 mm as a thickness then the thickness on the E surface zone that is D by 200 mm so AST minimum is 240 mm right provide thickness on only on the top face if you choose 8 mm dia then 8 mm 200 mm center to center on both face so this is the plan uh, for the long wall if you'll if you'll see uh, provide 20 mm 140 mm on the liquid face because the tension on the liquid face right on the inner face 
and at the support 20 mm 130 mm center to center right the same okay and for the short wall and and the balance is 10 mm 210 mm center to center for the vertical reinforcement right if you design a short wall 16 mm 300 mm center to center at the center and at the support 20 mm 110 mm center to center right so for the vertical that is the same so these are the sections if you cut the long wall from this aa and then this is the aa section for the long wall so all the reinforcement has been calculated and for the section bb at the center of the short wall this has been calculated right so if we choose if we change our data according to the our condition that if this is 8 meter right if this is 5 meter right so the data will be changed that is fixed movement has been changed the final movements has been changed all the movements has been changed right so the thickness has been changed thickness needs to change like if you have to change the thickness of the wall 350 right the spacing has been changed for the, if you choose the same dial so you need to change the spacing closely placed 20m dial that is ast required will be more right distribution field has been changed the short wall has been changed right so all the reinforcement has been changed and designed accordingly right so friends if you like this video if you want the actual sheets and you can contact me on my whatsapp number on my mail please subscribe this channel and thanks for watching